Well, I just pulled up to Beaver Dam. I'll tell you guys, man, the people in Beaver Dam should be freaking outraged right now. There is just, this is just unbelievable. I can't believe this. I'm looking down here at the river and there's just dead fish everywhere. So you can kind of see from the camera, but you'll see the pictures a lot clearer. smell is so bad. You can actually smell it right when you drive into the city. They turn down the dam a little bit to get a little bit of oxygen in there, but it's just, it's just unbelievable right now. Here's a guy right here that just has a bird on a fishing line. I, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a guy here and he's got a, a bird that was tangled up in a fishing line. It looks like he's gonna save that bird. We'll get a little closer look at that. There's garbage everywhere. And it just, it stinks. The people should be freaking outraged by this. I heard what happened was that the city shut off the water so they could do some work down the road on Cooper Street. Well, none of that work on Cooper Street even got done. Like that, that work has been sitting there for, I don't know how long. Did you, did you just get a bird? A bird was caught in the line? Wow, unbelievable. There's the, here's the bird that's jumping away. That bird was just caught in a fishing line. Here's a better picture of the dead fish. That's just a few of the dead fish because they turned down the dam and a lot of them washed down the shore. But I feel that whoever shut off the dam in 90 degree weather should be held responsible for this. I mean, if I killed a few fish, it would be poaching. I mean, if I, if I was to kill 20 fish or 50 fish, I'd be getting arrested for that right now. So someone came and shut the dam off on the hottest day of the year. So there's no oxygen for the fish. It'd be like if you had a fish tank and you turned off the pump, you turned off the filter, but you cranked the heat up to 100 degrees. Of course, they're all gonna die. So we lost thousands and thousands of fish. So, I don't know, I'm pretty disappointed today, but. I guess rest in peace, Beaver Dam River. I just arrived at the Cooper Street Bridge and uh, I don't totally understand exactly what's going on with this construction here, but I'm under the impression, I'm under the understanding that the reason that the water below the dam has had to be shut off was so that they could complete work down here. Well, I'm just gonna tell you something. This has been sitting here like this since November. We have videos of us fishing down here for walleyes three months ago, and it looked exactly like this. There's nothing been changed. I have friends that live right over there, and I've asked them, have you ever seen anybody working here? No. Was there anybody working here this weekend? No. Well, here I am. Why is there nobody working here right now? They shut the water off. They killed every single freaking fish thousands of fish and nobody shows up for work. I mean, city workers, you know, I don't know what to think right now. If in my business, if it took me six, seven months to get started on a project, I would lose my job. Well, I just got home and, uh, you know, I'm thinking about some things on the drive home regarding the Beaver Dam River and the dam. And you know what, I wanna explain that there are certain times of year when the fish are stacked above the dam, when the fishing is really good above the dam, there's a lot of fish coming in, all right? Um, and this year, for whatever reason, that dam was wide open when all those fish were above the dam. I don't know why it needed to be wide open at that time. There wasn't an oxygen issue. Um, I, I don't know. I don't understand why it was wide open, but it was wide open during that time for, for quite a while. and thousands of fish spilled into the dam. Now, this creates a problem for the Lake Association because the Lake Association spends a lot of money to stock walleyes and pike and things like that. And those fish um, and perch and, and those a lot of those fish fell below the dam. Now, 
with the water levels high, another thing that will happen is that the fish that are downriver will swim upstream. And they're all kind of meeting and congregating below the dam, which has made fishing below the dam pretty amazing this year. And there's a lot of local kids, my son Leo included, that really got uh, really got good from, from fishing down below the dam. They're really able to hone their skills down there. And so it did create some pretty good fishing, but probably didn't make the Lake Association very happy because a lot of their fish fell below the dam. So now we have more fish than I've ever seen in my life below the dam, and the city closes the dam off on the absolute hottest day of the year, the three hottest days of the year, to do construction work, but then they don't actually do the construction work. They just leave the dam closed, and now there's dead fish everywhere, and the whole town stinks. We lost all kinds of fish, and it's just unbelievable. So I'm going to say something. I don't want to be one of those guys where I make a video or I make a Facebook post and I just complain about everything and I don't come up with a solution. I don't have a solution to, to that problem, but I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a crew of people. I know tons of people in Beaver Dam. I have... Um, I have access to a lot of lot of people and I'm gonna come up with a crew of people and we're gonna spend some time cleaning down there and so so I'm gonna do that I, I'm gonna get a group of people together and we're gonna make a monthly or maybe bi-monthly commitment to go down there to the dam and clean that place up we don't need to see birds getting caught in fishing line and garbage laying all over the place and um, it would be great if everybody could just pick up their own garbage but I don't feel that it's gonna happen and so we're going to go down there and we're going to do that. So I'm going to make that commitment. And I hope that you guys will just share this video to raise awareness to basically just what happened to the Beaver Dam Dam. All right. We'll